Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. To sum it up briefly, if you own any of the iPhone 12 series or current iPad Pro 2020 variants, then updating to iOS 14.4 is crucial as it pertains to those looking for performance improvements. As for the iPhone 11 series, it seems improvements are minimum to none. I'll definitely be addressing this in the later part of this video. Quick disclaimer, these results that you will see aren't just from one test, but multiple. I use the average of all tests to provide more realistic results and data. Now let's get started with the iPad Pro 2020 variant GPU scores. GPU meaning graphics processing unit. Straight off the cuff, if you look at the GPU results for the iPad Pro, there is nothing different as it pertains to peak performance with both iOS 14.3 and iOS 14.4. However, which is quite noticeable, is the improvements in the lowest loop score and stability. What does this mean? Basically, for those using the iPad Pro for long duration gaming, heavy content creation, or video rendering, you're going to notice a good improvement in sustained GPU performance when updating to iOS 14.4. Personally, in my opinion, sustained GPU performance is more crucial than peak, as peak is only temporary when doing heavy graphical tasks. iOS 14.4 is bringing great improvements to the iPad Pro's GPU. Now as for CPU, meaning central processing unit, the improvements are very minimum. With iOS 14.4, there won't be much improvements in CPU related tasks as it pertains to the iPad Pro 2020 variant. Now for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, as we look at the GPU scores, just like the iPad Pro, there's little to none improvements in peak performance. However, if you look at the lowest loop score and stability between iOS 14.3 and iOS 14.4, you'll see improvements, which means for long duration gaming, heavy content creation, or video rendering, you're going to notice slight improvements in sustained GPU performance when updating to iOS 14.4. Again, this is great news for the iPhone 12 users. Apple is continually improving and optimizing the power of the A14 Bionic chipset. If you remember, with iOS 14.2, the highest loop score was in the 6K range, while the lowest loop score was in the low 5K range. Thus, with every update, it seems the A14 Bionic chip gets more powerful in GPU performance. iOS 14.4 is bringing the A14 Bionic chip to greater GPU levels. Now as for CPU, similar to the iPad Pro, there seems to be no improvements with iOS 14.4. Therefore, don't expect any difference in CPU-related tasks with the iPhone 12 series. Now with the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the results in GPU performance are negligible. There isn't really a change in peak performance or sustained performance between both iOS 14.3 and iOS 14.4. The same applies for CPU performance. Again, looking at these result averages, there seems to be no improvement with iOS 14.4 and iOS 14.3. Therefore, those iPhone 11 users looking for faster performance with iOS 14.4, sadly, with this update, there seems to be no changes. However, even with this being said, performance isn't the only variable of this update. There are also many additional new OS features embedded in the iOS 14.4 update. Thus, updating to iOS 14.4 will still introduce some notable new bug fixes and feature tweaks. With all of this being said, I hope this video was very informative and useful for those on the fence on whether to upgrade to iOS 14.4. If you like this type of content, please let me know in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more future testing and tech informational videos. Please stay safe and see you next time.